Pecos Bill invents the 10 gallon hat by Kevin Strauss. Pecos Bill invents the 10 gallon hat. Before Pecos Bill, cowboys didn't know how to do much of anything. They didn't know how to rope cattle, they didn't know how to drive cattle, and they had no idea how to deal with the hot Texas sun. One day, Pecos Bill was working a herd near the Rio Grande, and the sun was hot enough for fried bacon on a boulder. Looking around, he saw that it was nice and shady under the cottonwood trees by the river, so he rode over to cool off under one. It was comfortable there, but that wasn't where the cattle were. That's okay, thought Bill. If the cattle want to stay on the prairie, I got a mind to move the tree. He tied his rattlesnake rope around the biggest cottonwood on the river and said, Giddy up to his horse. Now, no ordinary horse could move a tree like that, but Bill didn't have an ordinary horse. He had lightning, a horse that packed more wallop than a prairie thunderstorm. The black stallion pulled and pulled, and the roots pop, jump right out of the ground. But the tree fell plump, burying 20 head of cattle and branches and leaves. Pecos Bill had to spend the rest of that day digging those cows out. But Bill was one, wasn't was one to give up after just one try. Well, if I can't move the whole dang tree, maybe I can move the shady part, he thought. For a while, it worked fine. The trouble started when Bill got to town and tried to walk into a hotel. He opened the door and bam, fell right on his rear end. Pecos Bill got up and ran at the door again, but bam, he landed flat on his back. Then he realized why he didn't fit through the door. But Pecos wasn't one to be flump flummoxed after just two tries. The next day, he went walking through town. It was a Saturday, and when he got to the end of the main street, he saw a group of men playing some sort of newfangled ball game. But it wasn't the men's game that interested Pecos Bill. It was their caps. It looked as if those caps kept the sun off the players' faces. Bill bought a cap at the store, and the next day he wore it out on the prairie. The cap kept the sun off his face all right, but that sky fire still burned the back of his neck. Then, when a thunderstorm came up, the rain soaked the cloth cap. Well, that didn't pan out, thought Pecos Bill. Not one to cash it in after only three tries, Pecos Bill went to town the next day looking for another hat. As he was walking down the main street, he heard a clanging bell. Bill dove out of the way as a horse-drawn fire wagon rushed past him. As he lay there in the dust, Bill could see smoke coming from the library stable. Pecos Bill whistled up lightning and rode out of town looking his split. He pulled out his rattlesnake rope, lassoed up a storm cloud, and dragged it back to town. He hogtied the cloud and squeezed it so hard that it gushed rain, dowsing the flames. The volunteer firefighters were so happy that they made Pecos Bill an honorary member of the fire brigade and gave him his very own metal firefighter helmet. I reckon this might be just what I need, said Bill. While the back brim of the helmet shaded his neck, the metal got hotter and hotter in the sun. By noon, Pecos Bill took off the helmet and wrapped a wet bandana around his head. Not one to skedaddle after only four tries, Pecos Bill sat on his bedroll that night, figuring about hats. The baseball cap only shaded my face, and it didn't keep me dry. The firefighter helmet shaded my neck, but it got too hot. Just then, lightning bent down and pushed the two hats together. That gave Bill an idea. Wait a minute. What if I made a hat with a wide brim like a baseball cap to shave my neck and a high crown like a firefighter helmet to shed the rain 
and in waterproof fabric so it wouldn't get too hot. Take a fill, pat it in Stallion's neck. Lightning, you're a genius. Now, most people know that Pecos Bill was the most famous cowboy in the world, but few people realize that he was also an expert tailor. Pecos Bill bought some beaver felt in town, and using his baseball cap and firefighter helmet as models, he sewed and pressed the very first 10-gallon hat. After that, Pecos Bill would carry his own shade wherever he went. And when it rained, the water just rolled right off the crown and over the brim, leaving Pecos Bill's head nice and dry. What's more, it made a handy bowl. When other cowboys saw how useful Pecos Bill's invention was, they gave a big yee-haw and ordered some of their own. Pretty soon, even the brand new Greenhorn Cowboys were wearing them. I'm telling you, that's the way it was. That's the way it is, and that's the end of the story.